So thank you. Um, so I will start the presentation uh, of Obducat. I will talk about our lithography solutions for optics and photonics. Um, so I will go through who we are, what we offer, uh, Obducat's proprietary NIL technology and products, uh, services, and also a bit about our applications and specifically with focus on optics and photonics. So Oblica is a company that has been around for uh, th about 30 years. Uh, we develop uh, and supply nanolithography lithography solutions, um, processing uh, for production and replication and advanced uh, micro nanostructures for mass production, as well as for R&D purposes. Uh, we have an, an organization which is a little bit more than 55 employees. We have an installed base of tools, uh, which is more than 500 tools worldwide. Uh, we have a quite extensive patent portfolio covering not only the tools, uh, tool solutions, but also the process technologies and so forth. And uh, we have about uh, 160 uh, granted patents today. Uh, we are also a public listed company since more than 20 years, and we are listed on the Nordic Growth Stock Exchange in uh, Stockholm, Sweden. Uh, our facilities encompass about 1,800 square meters, of which 150 square meters are class 10 and class uh, 100 clean room for uh, our foundry service activities. Uh, we cover the world, but uh, we have our, uh, our headquarters in Sweden, in Lund, and uh, we also have our subsidiary in Radosel in Germany, where we also produce and develop tools. Uh, in Sweden, we focus on the nano imprint uh, lithography tools, and in Radosel in Germany, we focus on the coating uh, developers and uh, the wet chemical processing tools. We have our own sales force uh, located in, beside Sweden and Germany, also in the UK. We have uh, two people, one in uh, San Francisco, one in San Diego. We have also uh, sales in uh, Shanghai. And on the other key markets, we work through distributors and agents. So uh, what is it that we Obducat, uh, actually offer the market? Well, we sell uh, nano imprint lithography tools, resist processing tools, wet processing tools, but we also offer foundry services. And um, if we start with the nano imprint lithography tools, uh, we have the R&D type of tools. We have the, um, the uh, large substrate tools where we can process substrates up to 500 by 500 millimeters. And uh, then we have the fully automated production tools, the Syndra tools, which are uh, then available up to 300 millimeter size. And then we also have what we call a litho track, which is a fully integrated tool. So it's not only the uh, nano imprint part, but also the, let's say, resist coating and, and various process cleaning steps and so on, integrated into one and the same tool. Uh, on the resist processing side, we have, again, a product suite, which, uh, which is uh, then for, for R&D, which are the quick step. Those are available in 200 and 300 millimeter range, as well as the large substrates uh, tools, which are then covering substrates up to 1.5 meter in diameter. Uh, we have the uh, fully automated microcluster tools, which are uh, coder developers, and uh, those are uh, ranging then from basically four modules up to uh, eight modules, uh, depending on, uh, let's say, the uh, capacity need the customer have and the number of uh, process steps uh, they want to integrate into one of the same tool. The uh, wet processing tools, again, we have the R&D type of tools, which are the uh, uh, manual, uh, manually operated tools. Again, those exist in the 203 and 300 millimeter size, as well as we have these wet chemical processing tools for uh, large substrates up to 1.5 meter in diameter. Uh, again, the uh, automated tools for cleaning, lift off, etching, developing, and uh, various uh, customized processes uh, are available for uh, 200 and 300 millimeter uh, as well. And uh, we also have the track tools, which then 
uh, are fully automated uh, for the same processes, again, for 200 and 300 millimeter up to 1.5 meter in diameter. And those are, of course, then configurable with the number of process chambers that you may have a need for. So um, these, that was the tools. And as I mentioned, we have our own clean room facilities. Uh, we have uh, where we have uh, the um, uh, capabilities internally that uh, allow us to offer foundry services. We have a lot of customers, especially in the optics and photonics field, where uh, there is no internal production capability. And uh, normally these customers would like to have someone to turn to uh, who can actually do the manufacturing for them. So for those customers who have highly specialized but low volumes, uh, those are customers that we do serve uh, by offering our foundry services. And those are of course based on using our own, let's say tools and of course uh, additional process capabilities beyond that uh, as such as etching and, and so forth. So uh, we can act as uh, the, uh, uh, the manufacturing partner for companies who follow a fa fabulous uh, strategy. Now moving into a little bit more specifics on the nanoimprint uh, lithography technology. So uh, we typically, uh, the imprint process in our tools is con then configured in the way that you use a master stamp, typically in glass or silicon. And from that, you create an intermediate stamp. This is part of our patented technology um, to have a transparent, uh, flexible um, polymer-based uh, intermediate uh, stamp. Then we use that to, to do the transfer of the structures onto the, uh, the final substrate. And this uh, gives a, a number of different benefits. Of course, we can reuse the, the IPS a number of times, uh, depending on the quality requirements. It's completely configurable uh, in the tools, so the, you can choose to only use the IPS once, or you can choose to use it many times. Um, so this is the typical uh, process of, uh, of uh, doing the imprint process. Um, if we look specifically on the patterning capabilities of uh, the IPS and the, the soft press technology, uh, it's possible for us to, uh, first of all, print all the way to the edges of the substrate. Uh, we can also have extremely high conformity due to the way the soft press technology works so that we can also get uh, str small structures down on very rough surfaces by using this flexible uh, IPS, uh, sub, uh, IPS dam. And uh, beyond that, uh, of course, we are also able to, because of the conformity, uh, since the polymer stamp is flexible and the soft press technology is also um, making it possible to conform to whatever concave or convex surfaces you have, we can print structures on uh, non-flat non surfaces. So uh, camera lenses and other various type of uh, structures and also uh, hierarchical uh, structures. Now, a couple of things uh, that has happened lately is, of course, the uh, new developments. And uh, there are a number of challenges that we have in uh, the field of uh, nano and print lithography. So challenge number one is to uh, overcome the, um, uh, the uh, adaptation and, and uh, the, um, for, for uh, different surfaces and, and compatibility between materials and uh, also to be able to do a demolding uh, without damaging the structures. So we have recently launched a new technology where we have uh, integrated anti-stick technology into uh, the imprint tools uh, where we anti-stick uh, the, uh, the IPS in, uh, in, in line and that enables us to uh, reach much higher, um, uh, let's say, uh, quality level um, and repeatability. Uh, challenge number two is uh, the um, optical materials, especially, especially in the AR and VR field. Uh, there is, of course, the uh, problem of uh, using very or needing very high exposure dose. And uh, there we have uh, integrated uh, extremely high density uh, intensity um, UV modules that enables us to go up to 600 milliwatt per square centimeter. So uh, this in the anti-stick module, um, here we have the small one, uh, which is the module that is integrated into this uh, Cinder, uh, Cinder automated system. Here is the large substrate uh, module 
which is installed in the HR500, which is the 500 by 500 millimeter substrates. And um, so we have inline anti-stick there as well of the IPS film. Um, and of course, uh, these are uh, highly um, repeatable processes that uh, allow us to put down a very thin um, layer of anti-stick um, molecules and uh, that enables us to still maintain resolution while we at the same time create a much higher quality. Um, this is just showing an integration of the UV, uh, high intensity UV into a, a 200 millimeter tool. So application wise, uh, we are then specifically looking at the optics and photonics and uh, DFP gratings, uh, wire grid polarizers is something that we have worked with uh, for a long time. And uh, we also do micro lenses on, of various kinds on, uh, on flat surfaces as well as non-flat surfaces. And uh, we do uh, also for a certain camera lens manufacturers, um, the patterning on their uh, camera lenses for high-end uh, camera uh, objectives. Uh, and uh, finally, we also do a lot of work for uh, augmented reality, so slanted gratings and, and so forth, everything from the stamp to the actual imprint result. So um, stay tuned for more technology launch launches. We are working on some additional capabilities that we will integrate into our tools and we expect a product launch in Q3 2021. Thank you very much. Bye.